Oh. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in this video I would like to talk to you about the Mark V landship. It does come in three different loadouts, as with almost all the vehicles in Battlefield 1, and I will cover them all and give you my opinions about them. The first loadout you see here is the Squad Support Package. It uses the same weapon as the primary weapon of the light tank's flank loadout's main gun. You have the same amount of shells, 15 before you have to reload. And as I'm sure you noticed, this weapon has quite a lot of drops, so you have to aim above the target if you're shooting at uh, decent ranges. Now both utilities of this loadout are really really good, at least in my opinion. One of them that you will see me using here is the track repair. Notice how the tank was disabled, but with just one click, not only did I repair the disabled parts, but also gained 20 HP. Now the other utility is, in my opinion, just as good. What it does is that it drops both a large ammo crate and a medic box. Now, the medic box is especially good for healing up your repair guys, that is, if you have any. Notice how in this situation I'm getting a repair constantly, while there is until my friend, the support guy here, gets killed. Now, this loadout is one of the two loadouts that comes with four passenger seats. That means that all in all we can be five people in the tank, and we all have access to a variety of weapons. Most important are, in almost all situations, passenger number 2 and number 3, because they're using the 57mm QF6 Pounder, and these are the anti-vehicle cannons made to counter other oh, tanks. The, the, the passengers the in seat 4 and seat 5 are using machine guns, meaning that they cannot deal any damage to heavy armored vehicles. They're all over this tank now. They're very determined to take out my tank. And I want to go for C. Now as the driver you also have access to a secondary weapon with all three loadouts. This one comes with a Lewis gun mounted at the rear end of the tank so you can shoot back go for B. Let's go for B. Let's let's in yeah, yeah, let's kill that one, let's kill that one. So the next loadout for this video is the tank hunter loadout. As the driver you have access to the tank giver M1918. And yes, this is exactly the same weapon that you will get for the Tank Hunter Elite class that you can pick up on a variety of different maps. Now obviously this is the ultimate loadout for hunting enemy tanks, but it's also very very satisfying to use against infantry players. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually very good at it. I got that one. Oh, be behind. Oh yeah, snipe from C. So yes, the secondary gun for the driver is also mounted on the back, but in the case of the tank hunter loadout, it is the exact same weapon as the one shooting forward. As you can see here, I'm using it to pick off quite a number of enemies, and for the ones not paying attention enough, it might actually be hard to tell whether or not I'm using the main or the secondary weapon. Now one of the drawbacks of this loadout compared to the other two is that it comes only with the two passenger seats. Now these two passengers are also using the same 57mm cannons that you have two of on the squad support loadout. And I think that the biggest problem with only having two passengers is that the chances that somebody is going to get out of the tank to repair you is going to be a lot smaller. Now with the utilities, I think that you have one useful one and one rather useless. One of them is emergency repair, which obviously is a good one. The other one is a gas emitter, which I never really, well, as far as I know at least, got anything out of. Now, obviously the gas emitter would be very useful against any nearby enemies. Oh. But with this loadout, you want to stay away from the enemies. That's what all the weapons are good for. And in general, the landships are good at range, at least in my opinion, but especially this one. I'm giving out any damage there. Is this hiding another arch? Oh, he's not hiding from me. I hit him twice. I, I got him. We got a kill. Nice. What tools do you have? Um, quick repair and smoke. Okay. Oh. Not uh, bad. Yeah. Uh, there's. Hit no damage. 
now this third loadout that I'm bringing up is actually the default one and uh, this is the mortar package personally I'm not a big fan of this one now don't get me wrong the primary is very good against infantry but without being able to deal damage to armored vehicles with your primary I feel very very limited now the secondary weapon of this loadout is what gives it its name it's a mortar with heavy shells now maybe it's just me, I don't like mortar in general, but I just simply can't do very well with this tank. I think a lot of it has to do with my playstyle. I just don't have the patience to use a weapon such as mortar. On top of that, I don't find whatever skill requirements, if there even is any, for mortar to be interesting. Obviously map knowledge is very important, but it's just, again, not interesting enough for me to want to spend my time using this tank. But this is just my personal opinion. Now for utility, you have track repair, which is very good, of course, and you have smoke screen, which also is very good. This is also a five seat tank, uh, allowing you to have four passengers, and you have the same okay. as with the uh, squad support oh, with uh, two heavy cannons and two right machine guns. <laughs> they pulled. There we go. Wow. Got him. Oh, here they go. Here they come. Ah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, my personal favorite is by far the Tank Hunter loadout. But the fact of the matter is that if it wasn't for the In the Name of the oh, Tsar nice, nice. DLC, I probably wouldn't have made this video. There are a couple of maps yeah. where the only tank you have access to is Coming the land ship, and because of that, my interest in this tank has peaked quite a bit, and I have to say it's a lot better than at least I initially thought. I'll give you a right angle. Can you? Oh, I switched. Yeah. I'm on the right side now. Got it. There's a land ship coming here. So yeah, for the rest of the video, I'll mix it up with all three different loadouts of the land ship, and I hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Are they here? Uh huh. He was there. Oh, come on. We have lost objective apples. What can I shoot with this thing? This is passing your one. Yeah. Oh, be a kill, be a kill. It wasn't. Yeah. They could spot there. Get some spots for you. There we go. Yep. Uh, enemy. Uh, go, go, uh, Frenchie, go on the right side. Go on the right side. I bet there's someone on the right side. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? You went through? And no damage. I did damage. Oh, no. this game. Okay, I'm gonna repair you. I'm gonna smoke. I need repair too. too. Oh, it's gas. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. I'm backing off. It went through him. Okay. He misses. I'm dodging his uh, oh, oh, shot by. Right. Yeah. Thanks for the cover. On the right. Oh, there's a tank. Oh, get on the in the right side.
Oh, double kill. What is here? Oh, they're 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 right oh. there. They're right there. Uh, on oh. the other ruin there. There's okay. two guys. Mine. Yeah. Oh, that's me. That's my gas. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Double gas. Losing C. Losing A. Oh, tank? Nice repair. There's a medic here, he might uh, re revive the... Oh, I can't see. Assault down, medic down. Medic down. Oh, getting sniped. No, 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 no. Oh, that was some uh, some bullet drop calculation. Yeah, you have to calculate for bullet drop in this game. Thank you. Here we go. Are you on the right side? See if we can kill that thing. I'm hitting it. Oh, be on the right side, on the right side. We're approaching. We have lost objective Freddy. We have lost objective Edward. can be really bad to get into the... Oh, on the right side, on the right side. Nice, nice. They're up in this house here. Trying to shoot through that little hole, little gap. Oh, 
Нужно защитить цель! Behind us, behind us. On the left side. Oh, in front, there's a lot of them. I got some kills. 